So this is our first show of the segment for the Observing Fullerton podcast with me and Jackson on my editing team. Uh, please join me in welcoming uh, Associate Marriage and Family Therapist, Jessica Doolin. She's also the owner of Hudson's Cancer Child Care. Hello. Um, she will be uh, starting us off with a brief introduction. So I became pregnant in 2014. Um, I delivered in September of 2014, my son Hudson. And then come to find out January of 2015, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. And the treatment for that required month long stays in the hospital. Um, Hudson was four months old at the time. But luckily, we had his grandparents, so my son stayed and lived with his grandparents while they took care of him, and I had to stay in the hospital for a month. Um, I did that for about six months, and then, you know, he would come visit me in the hospital. Um, when I would go see the oncology team, I had to go out pretty far, about an hour and a half away, and it would take six hours at least to be there with blood draws and wow. checking the blood, checking for symptoms, um, all the medication, the IVs. Yeah. So Hudson got very accustomed to hospitals. Um, it was nice though the nurse would give him a lot of snacks so he liked that. But with having gone through that, if I didn't have grandparents, I wouldn't have had anyone to watch my son. His dad had to go to work every day um, so luckily I had the grandparents and that during the pandemic we all had a lot of time to think and it made me think well there's no nonprofit that currently does this mm -hmm. because I work with cancer patients um, that's my main focus in therapy I know a lot of the resources I often refer out to those resources and I noticed there's absolutely nothing for child care so I figured it's a needed resource, yeah. and so I went and started collaborating and created Huns Hudson's Cancer Child Care. Wow, so that is what inspired mm -hmm. the creation. That's awesome. And who's eligible to receive assistance from your nonprofit? So any parent or guardian that is undergoing cancer treatment, but with that being said, it could be you know, sometimes a breast cancer survivor, for a couple weeks, they can't move their arms. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how you would feed a baby or hold a baby. Yeah. So in those times, you know, there could be child care during the day, so mom could sleep and rest, um, and then hopefully have help at night. Or some cancer patients have to go and get infusions that last about four hours. Um, you definitely cannot bring a baby in the cancer ward. Yeah, I imagine. Um, <laughs> so any cancer patient or guardian undergoing cancer treatment. Okay. How many families have benefited from your services and the donations that you've received over time? Like, is there stories or some stories that you can share? Um, it's pretty cool. We've had a really great impact on the community. We've helped all the way from San Diego out to the valley. And just that, a lot of moms, single moms who don't have childcare, they're at their appointments during the day or they're taking a break from work to go do infusions and having that time so they still can work and be single moms. Wow. It's a really helpful resource. Um, so keeping that in mind, how can other people donate? Like what kind of donations do you accept? Is it through your website? Do you also accept in person? Can you go into a little bit more detail there? Sure. So the website is www.cancerchildcare.org. Okay. Um, all of the ways to donate are on there PayPal, Stripe, um, sending a check to Hudson's Cancer Child Care. Mm -hmm. um, there's a contact page, my phone number, and my email is on there. Okay. Um, so, anyway, like that, my PO box is on there. Okay, perfect. So we'll make sure to include that below so that you can, if you'd like to donate, if you'd like to contribute to the cause, as you can see, it definitely makes a difference for single parents, families, um, grandparents that 
step up to kind of look after children as well so you'd be donating to an awesome cause and it's very much appreciated and what about maybe upcoming events or or even job or volunteer opportunities so we are doing a reorganization of the board so if anyone wants to be a board member we are interviewing um we've had to reorganize the board Okay. So with that being said, um, fundraising is on hold until we solidify the board. Okay. Um, but always wanting volunteers, even just telling your friends and family about the organization is so helpful. Okay. So that being said, if there are any people out there that are interested in joining the board for Hudson's Cancer Child Care, a nonprofit, you can uh, find the link below to the website and uh, go ahead and reach out to Jessica and she'll have more more details there. Um, she also mentioned that she's looking for volunteers. Uh, what, what can volunteers expect to be doing? What are some of the responsibilities that will be assigned? Mostly just doing pamphlets and handing those out to different um, hospitals, oncology okay. offices. Okay. Any live events on the horizon? Um, we're planning, but we haven't solidified that yet either. Okay, I can't wait till you guys do like a 5K or like a like a run or something. I'll be the first one to <laughs> sign up. Um, and then, last but not least, any advice for somebody that is thinking about or that is taking that leap to start their own nonprofit? It is very overwhelming. <laughs> Um, but luckily with the internet you can make anything happen I have learned so much from just googling what is this what does this mean how can I do this so I feel like that's an excellent start there is also one OC in Santa Ana um, they do fiscal sponsorship for nonprofits and they oh, handle cool. all of the accounting um, all of the back office duties the okay. taxes everything like that so this is one one OC, OC in Santa Ana. Oh, okay, is that who you're using currently? So I'm fiscally sponsored by one OC. So I use their five hundred one C number, their tax ID number. Okay. And they manage um, most of the back house stuff. Oh, okay. And you would recommend it? Yes, definitely. They have trainings. They're very very supportive. Very cool. Well, that concludes all my questions. Thank you so much for coming on the show and being the first person to um, be interviewed by me and uh, my uh, editor over here. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time and hopefully some good will come of this. You'll get more donations, maybe even a board member, some volunteers um, that'll get the word out there for Hudson's ch uh, ch Cancer Child Care. Thank you.